Dave from Dave's Jungle and today we're going to be looking at lizards. They separated from the dinosaurs about 180 million years ago and they're doing really well since, populating most parts of the world from the tropics right up to the furthest point which is Norway. Of course lizards do well in warmer climates so a lot more of them in the tropics whereas there are less and less as we go further and further north. And indeed in Ireland we've only got two types of lizard. First is a common lizard, which is an indigenous species. And also we have the legless lizard or slow worm. And they were introduced into Ireland in the 1970s and they're found mostly around the burn. So they are actually an invasive species. The common lizard is usually found around bogs and around grasslands. You find a lot of them around Wicklow, but all over the country as well. Slow worms or legless lizards are very similar to snakes, except there are a few differences. First of all, they have ears. And also they have eyelids. Snakes don't have eyelids, whereas lizards do. They wouldn't have the same kind of mobility as a snake. They wouldn't be as graceful. Also, it wouldn't have as big a mouth as a snake as it does not stretch. Their jaws are hinged and they can only open so wide, a bit like ours really. Most of are oviporous. They find a place to lay their eggs that have the right conditions, the right temperature, the right humidity, away from direct sunlight and away from predators. The Irish lizard doesn't have this luxury because the climate in Ireland is so unpredictable. One minute it's hot, next minute it's cold, next thing it's raining. So they don't have that steady environment to lay eggs. So to combat this problem, they incubate the eggs inside their body where it's the right environment and then they give birth to live miniature versions of themselves and they just scurry off and start their own little lives. The common lizard is found all over Europe from the very south to the very north. This is Phila, she's my rhino iguana. She comes from Española, which is the island of Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Being a close relation of the green iguana, they probably once floated out on a, on a raft of vegetation to populate these islands and they've adapted to their environment. They're no longer the type of lizard that lives in trees, but mostly they live on rocks and uh, rocky outcrops and in forests. Iguanas have three eyes, they have the two in the front and then they have the parietal, which is on top of the head. And this is like a little light sensor and it basically tells the iguana, what time of day it is, what season it is, but also it controls their sleep patterns. And at nighttime, when the light dims, the brain floods with a hormone called melatonin and the reptile goes to sleep. Iguanas have very sharp vision. They can see colors more vividly than we do. They can't really see things very well unless they look sideways, which is a disadvantage to them because with the green iguana, when they jump from tree to tree, very often they miss like that. Iguanas are built for falling. They can fall from huge heights up to 50 feet without injuring themselves. Iguanas have very powerful jaws and they have about 120 teeth and these are designed for ripping. They're like little spearheads and they're for tearing leaves and tearing vegetation. It has only recently been discovered that some lizards do actually have venom, including iguanas. Even one of the most popular reptilian pets, the bearded dragon, has a venom comparable to that of a rattlesnake. The good news is they don't have the delivery system, they don't have the fangs, plus the venom is very mild and absolutely harmless to humans. We've got some quick interesting facts about lizards. The desert grassland whiptail is an all-female species of lizard. They are able to reproduce without a male through a process known as parthenogenesis, which means they fertilize the eggs themselves. Normally, males provide half the chromosomes and the female the other half. So to combat this problem, the female produces double the amount of chromosomes and she is able to give birth to all-female offspring. A few lizards share this ability and none of them have taken it to this extreme. The Jesus Christ lizard, as is known to share the ability of perambulating on water. Its real name is the basilisk and it is found in Central and South America. It actually has the ability to run across the water with a combination of speed and trapping little bubbles under its feet. One of the fastest lizards is the spiny tail iguana. It can run at speeds at 34.9 kilometers an hour or 21.7 miles per hour. That's pretty fast. The Gila monster is the most venomous lizard. 
It is found in New Mexico, Arizona. The venom of the Gila monster is quite similar to that of the diamondback rattlesnake. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.